thinking about going solar, so was I. And in fact, after doing a ton of research, I was left with more questions than I was answers. Pretty frustrating, especially not knowing how to ask or what to ask in doing my research. And every time I tell somebody that I've gone solar, I get similar questions. So I decided I would put together this video to help out in just better understanding the process altogether. So a few terms to understand or get familiar with. First one is net metering. Net metering is the backbone of how solar works. Basically, your usage is going to deduct from what your system production is for the year. That result is going to be your net energy. DC optimizers and microinverters are products that convert the DC power that solar panels create and turn it into AC power that your house will actually use. PV system size is the uh, fancy way of saying how many watts you have in your solar array. Like for me, I have 16 320 watt panels, so that means I have a 5.2 kilowatt system. This in instance right here shows five 200 watt panels, so it's a 1K system. The cost per kilowatt is what you pay for your energy. Currently, the utility companies charge typically a uh, cent on the kilowatt, but solar is dollar on the kilowatt. We'll get into this a little bit later in the ROI, um, so we'll revisit this. Sun hours is the last thing to um, have a good understanding of. Basically just do a search for sun hours in my area or sun hours in our zip code. But the solar irradiance in your area is what dictates how many panels you're going to need for your system. We'll need this in a calculation later. Some other things to consider in putting together your system or considering solar is knowing what kind of roof you have. The pitch of the roof and the area we're going to put the panels. Also, your annual usage and how much you're paying for it is important. Some really big pieces to look at when you're researching is panel efficiency, temperature coefficiency, and the system warranty. We'll get into that a little later. Some products that are offered for solar now are basically own and not own. And the cash out, loan, and build your own, you own, and they don't stop producing. The others, well, I just listed them so that way you can do your own research. Okay, let's do a calculation with your current usage. So here's the formula on how you actually figure out how big a system you need. You add your annual usage all together for all the months. You multiply it by a variance. You divide that by 365 uh, days. You then divide that by the sun hours in your area. You then divide that by the D-rate factor. And then you divide that by the solar panel rating. That will result in the amount of panels you're going to need for your system. Now, let me show you my personal calculation, and then you can kind of see how those numbers come alive. Here in this Excel spreadsheet, I've listed out all the months in my usage for those months, and then the total usage for the year, total cost of the year. Now, if I take 7,848 divided by 1145, that gives me a per kilowatt of 14 cents per kilowatt. If I take 11.45 divided by 12, that gives me $95 per month on what I'm paying for power. Now variance, as I mentioned in the previous page, it, it basically means how much you want to displace your power. So sometimes you can displace part of it and do 75% or 80%, which I don't recommend. I always recommend 100% displacement, and in my case I went with 107% displacement. So now I need to replace 83.97 for my power usage. I then derate it by 0.82. It's just kind of an industry standard because you're going to lose power on the panels from the heat, you're going to lose power uh, from the wire traveling from the panels to the inverter, and you're also going to lose power from the inverter converting it from DC to AC. You also have to take into account like cloudy days as well as shading factors. So 82 is a good estimate for derating. From that number you then divide it by 365 which gives you the average of kilowatts you need per day and then divide that by 5.5 which gives you the average that you're going to need per hour. Then you divide that by the amount of watts that the, each panel will produce which is going to tell you how many panels you're going to need to displace that power. Now if you have a 325 watt panel it's 0 0.325. If it's a 600 watt panel or 360 watt panel then you just put a dot in front of the wattage. Uh, to calculate what your system is, you take those panels divided by the watt rating, and that's your, that's your uh, PV site uh, size. Okay, so now let's look at the ROI. 
Now the ROI is on different systems, different years. So don't think that every system is going to pay you back in 10 years. Um, so what I did was I put together kind of a industry pricing of solar. Uh, $3.50 to install on the PV side will give you $17,000 as a total cost of the system. To find out your break-even, you take that price divided by your current monthly average, and that's your break-even point. Now remember, I said warranty is really important, and here's why this plays a factor. If you have a 25-year warranty, even on 11 years break-even, you still have 13 years left. At 13 years times $126 uh, a month, you're going to have $20,000 in savings. Now this, the panels aren't going to just shut off in 25 years, they're going to keep going. And this is why I really like a purchase versus a lease. A lease, you'll renegotiate your rate and your power at the end of that time. Think back uh, 20 years ago or 25 years ago, what do they pay for power? And that's what you're going to be paying for power in the future at the end of your, re your lease. Okay, next step. Uh, from here, I started doing research on the actual equipment. Uh, if you go with the design your own, then obviously you're going to have a few extra steps to do, and I'll put some more videos together on how those work out. But for the most part, you're going to want to know what kind of panels, the racking, and the inverter that, that this company is going to install. Some panels I recommend are SunPower, LG, Panasonic, and Serafin in that order. I also like Iron Ridge racking, and uh, I also like uh, the Solar Edge product. But not to be mistaken by the SunPower inverter, microinverter systems. Those are pretty cool too. If you do decide to go with building your own, uh, AHJ means uh, authority handling jurisdiction or having jurisdiction. And then the interconnection on the list has to do with uh, your utility company allowing you to turn on the system. Both of those have to be taken care of before you can turn your system on. Special thanks to my wife for putting up with me and all of my research, but uh, also thanks for watching.